Hey there designers, in this quick tutorial, we're gonna work you through the steps for the camera controls, uh, basic, basic skills tutorial in Tinkercad. And as it states over here in this lesson, you will learn to check out your designs by changing the view of your model using the view cube. And there's five steps to this, and you can see those here. Let's go ahead and go next. It says, learn to look around. While creating designs, it helps to be able to see your design from all sides. Let's learn how you can change your view. Can you rotate your view to see who's behind the curtain? The view cube located at the top left of Tinkercad will help you looking around. It says here, just drag anywhere on the view cube and you will see how it changes your point of view. So I can go ahead and click and drag this view cube and I can look around. Oh, look at that. It's Elvis. I think that's Elvis. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and spin and move all around on the view cube. All right, so that is one handy way to do it. It says try pressing the top corners of the view cube until you can see who's behind the curtain. Look at that top corner. All right, cool. And then continue to the next step. So let's go ahead and go to the next step. And it says now learn to zoom. From time to time, it helps to take a closer look at your design. Practice zooming in and out. So if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, I highly recommend, by the way, uh, use it for zooming in and out. If you use a touchpad, you will zoom around using the gesture that you normally use in other apps when you want to zoom. Uh, this will even work with a touch screen as well. But let's go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, I'll click, I'm right clicking and holding to move around. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a good angle here. And we're going to zoom in. Now, this is a little neat little trick here, but if you hit the shift button and, and right click, I can move the camera up and down. I can also move the camera side to side. So that's holding down shift and then right clicking. And if I, if I right click and hold without shift, then it pivots. If I right click and hold the shift button, then it moves forward to back. So let's see, let's get back to our man here. There he is. Look at that pompadour. All right, let's go to the next step. Now let's look around faster. If now you have seen how to rotate using the view cube in the Tinkercad editor, this time let's try it using only your mouse or touchpad. Press and hold the right mouse button while moving your mouse. Practice rotating the view of your design. So let's go ahead and look around here on the other side of the screen. Oh, there's his feet. There we go. So we can rotate all around Mr. Elvis here. Let's get a good view of his face there. Oh, there he is. If you want to use your touchpad, you can either press control and left click while you drag or simply right click and drag if you have your touchpad set up for accepting right clicks. And then we go to the next step. And then it says, congratulations, you did it. Don't forget, you can scroll the wheel on your mouse or use the touchpad to zoom in and out. Press and hold your right mouse button while moving the mouse to rotate your view or do control and left click while you drag on your touchpad. Great job. And now this would be one where if you wanted to, if you were doing the tutorials for a class or you needed to provide evidence of completing this tutorial, this is the type of screenshot that we want to take where we can actually see that you have rotated and looked behind the screen. All right, hope you found that helpful.